On today's show, Merrill Lynch lowers its sales forecast for the U.S. market. Toyota adds child models to its virtual crash simulations, and diesels hold strong in Europe while taking it on the chin in the U.S. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. For those of you south of the equator, welcome to winter. Merrill Lynch is lowering its sales forecast in the U.S. market for this year and the next two years to come. It had predicted that sales would hit 18.2 million vehicles this year. Now it says they will hit at 17.7 million. When John Murphy, the senior automotive analyst from Merrill Lynch, was on Autoline this week earlier this year, he predicted the SAR would peak at 20 million vehicles in 2018. Now that number has been lowered to 18 million. These are still very good sales numbers for the industry, but sales are growing slower than expected and leasing is growing. When those cars come off lease, they get bought by people who might otherwise buy a new car. Volkswagen's diesel emission scandal has not affected sales of diesel engines in the European market, according to a spokesman from the VDA, the German Automotive Industry Association. Speaking to Bloomberg Television, he said that diesel sales have not dropped and that they have not lost consumer confidence. He points out that diesels still account for almost 50% of all new car sales in Europe. Meanwhile, in the U.S. market, sales of diesel engines and passenger cars and SUVs are getting clobbered. Not counting pickups or any of the vehicles from VW, Audi, and Porsche, only 9,800 vehicles with diesel engines have been sold so far this year. That's down 37% from last year. And it's not a disaster for every model line. Diesel sales for the BMW 5 Series are actually up, and Land Rover is doing quite well with diesels in the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. Speaking of scandals, SCA is launching an investigation into a Jeep Grand Cherokee that is linked to a Hollywood actor's death. 27-year-old Anton Yelchin, best known for his role as Chekhov in the latest Star Trek movies, was reportedly crushed when his vehicle rolled backwards down his driveway, pinning him against a brick pillar and a metal gate. His vehicle, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, was part of a recall in April for a rollaway risk. The vehicle's electronic shifter hinges on a single pivot point and always returns to the same home position no matter what gear it's put into. It doesn't shift through a gate and stay at a specific gear location on the Prindle display. So some customers have ended up getting out of the vehicle with it in neutral, not park. While there is a warning chime if you do this, NHTSA determined that's not enough. There had been 41 injuries linked to the problem and now possibly Yelchin's death. If someone messes with your Cadillac CT6, the car will make a video record of what happened. That's next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. To help make its cars safer for anyone who rides in them, Toyota is adding child models to its virtual crash dummy software. Three new models represent the average size of a 10, 6, and 3-year-old. Called Total Human Model for Safety, or THUMBS, the software simulates injuries sustained during accidents. It's so detailed, it can show what happens to the brain or other internal organs in a crash. THUMBS is available for purchase and has been used by NASCAR to come up with a new safety state regulation to reduce the chance of broken ribs. GM launched its data recording system on the new Corvette, mostly for drivers that wanted to document a hot lap on the track, but you may also remember one customer who recorded a valet hot dog in it in his car. So now, instead of using the forward-facing camera, the new Cadillac CT6 will use the same four cameras used for the 360-degree parking display as part of the car's security system. If the vehicle is disturbed, the system will start recording what's going on around it 
and save it to an SD card located in the trunk. The recording system can also be used while the vehicle is in operation, so you could also record a nice scenic drive as well. When it comes to electric cars, the number to remember is 60. We'll explain what that's about right after this. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Sure sounds like 60 is the new number for the EV market. To compete against the upcoming Chevy Bolt and Tesla Model 3, Nissan is adding a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack to the LEAF, which will increase its range to between 210 and 220 miles. We still don't have the exact date when it will come out. The current model has a 24 kilowatt hour pack and can travel 107 miles on a charge. The Chevy Bolt also has a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that looks like the magic number to get over 200 miles of range. The North American Car and Truck of the Year Committee is adding a new category for jurors to vote on. In addition to cars and trucks, SUVs will now be considered as a category of their own. It's really a reflection of what's going on in the marketplace, as car buyers are buying fewer passenger cars and going for SUVs and CUVs instead. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow for the latest news in the global automotive industry.